how do you decide if you're going to visit friends and family this holiday season? How do you make that decision? This isn't for you guys. I've already made that decision. You guys are just looking for either confirmation or a reason to get mad. I'm not talking to you guys about this. I'm talking to the people who haven't made a decision. Should I visit family? Should I not visit family? Here's things you can consider in order to find where you land on that decision. Let's first look at the physical toll of what it would physically mean, the COVID, actual COVID stuff. If you're traveling farther, there's more chance of you either catching or spreading COVID to many people. If you're driving in your car, that's the safest mode of transportation as far as COVID goes. But if you drive, drive long distances, you can get tired. You have to stop for gas. You have to stop to go to the bathroom. You have to stop for food. Those are all places that you could catch or transmit COVID to someone else. If you have to stop at a hotel along the way, that's another stop. Uh, if you're taking an airplane or a bus or a train or something like that, at the will of how other people have handled themselves during the pandemic, you have to be okay that maybe they didn't wash hands as frequently as you have washed hands or if they're into masks or not into masks. You're gonna have to have all those people in your life and you're gonna be around all those people. And different airlines, different people are spacing people out differently. So are you comfortable with the risk you're presenting to yourself and others along your travel? So what is the physical risk at your travel? Are you gonna be around people that haven't taken care of those things and it's gonna make you uncomfortable? Or even worse, would you be around high risk people now you could have a test taken beforehand. You're going to have to decide uh, that you might or may not have COVID before you go. If those people are comfortable with being exposed or not exposed, are you comfortable exposing and knowing that you could have added to a problem for someone or been a contributing factor in a very serious health thing? Can you handle the physical toll? Can the people you're going to be around handle the physical toll? The second thing you're going to have to think about is the psychological impact. Are you at a breaking point and you need physical touch right now? That's a legit human need. Do you need physical touch? Do you need to be around those family? Do you need to see those faces? Do you need to have those in-person conversations? Or are you better served psychologically to have any more conversations over a longer period because you're not traveling and have individual conversations or really get in depth and really love those people? You could decide to do that from Zoom and from your own home. You could do those things. It's up to you to really look at your psychological and where you're at and also the people you're visiting. Where is the psychological place they're at? Will the psychological strain of possibly catching COVID be more than the psychological benefits of being around people? And that could be real. Or the psychological benefits of being around people for them is much better for their physical health and for their mental health than being socially distanced. We've looked at physical, we've looked at emotional. Now I also wanna look at the spiritual impact. spiritual impact of this. On that side, I want to say, hey, I'm a Christian, and if you're not, that's okay. Christians have an extra scrutiny in this time of year. I've seen many memes, people talking about Christians don't seem to care about other people, and I really do care about how other people see the church, because I want to reach people outside the church to tell them about Jesus. Is my behaviors and actions and attitudes during COVID, during the holiday season, going to be such that I am contributing to a narrative, fair or unfair, that church people, that Christians, don't care about other people? You might say, well, I shouldn't care about how other people think. Here's the reality. If we are shutting doors on people because of our attitudes and actions during this, it's something we should really take in consideration. You might not want to post a picture of your family gathered together with no mask on and tons of people in the room, even if you were completely safe every other time and posed facing forward, not breathing on each other, and just took you down your mask for a second for the picture. That's, a, that's not really a good image for a lot of people. It might be a great image for a lot of people as well. And so take into consideration who you're sharing that with how you're handling it, how you're communicating it, how you're handling it, and what you're representing as a follower of Christ when we don't wear masks or when we gather against orders of the government or when we gather in the midst of a pandemic. What is that saying to the world? What is that saying to the world? And so those are the three factors that I've taken into consideration this year. I just want you to know that there isn't a clear answer. It's not that I'm waffling on this. It's that for different people in different seasons, at different times of their lives, different parts of the country, there is, take all that into consideration. Take your friends who aren't Christians into consideration and think through what will you do this holiday season. Hopefully the only thing you spread this season is joy.
Thank you for joining us. If it matters to you, it matters to God. God cares if you're going to be with your family and how you're with your family this year. Don't forget to make sure you're checking in on loved ones. Have a great Christmas.